right now we're in week seven of the IMC. Uh, we're moving into our, our, our individual fire movement and then fire maneuver phases of the course. And so we're getting a lot uh, deeper look. Last week we covered the basics of fire and movement at the individual level, and then we've covered some more advanced fire and movement at a uh, individual buddy team, fire team level, and now we moved into fire maneuver, uh, having one squad uh, support another squad as they're moving through their, uh, their objectives. Fire movement for us is based off an individual level. Now, fire movement is always happening during an attack, and that's based off of an individual to a buddy team, uh, and then independent within those small units. And then fire maneuver is having a base of fire, it has, of having a supporting unit firing while another unit is moving underneath the cover of that fire. And that's what we have here this week, is we have our entry level students now providing uh, a base of fire through our direct fire machine guns themselves. Uh, and then what we have is a unit uh, moving underneath uh, that cover that's provided by that uh, base unit itself. What we have is in week seven, we're starting to see the fundamental differences in the IMC and how we've taught before. What we currently have is our IMC is built off of an individual phase, a collective phase, and then a complex collective skills that we're looking to be able to move the students through. Up until week seven, they've had a lot of the individual movements that they've gone through, learning the specifics of a, of a weapon system, learning how to use that weapon system. And in week seven, you're seeing the first intersection of the individual skills moving to a collective phase and then dabbling with the complex collective. The complex collective is fire and maneuver, a base of fire while we have an independent unit moving underneath that. As we move into our further phases, we will be only in the complex collective. What we like about IMC is that we're challenging the students. We're offering the students a bar and having them move to that bar themselves. Uh, through what we're doing is the hard work of the individual instructors themselves. Everything is based off of a mentorship, role model type path methodology. So we have the independent squad leaders and individual squad leaders that are solely responsible for their own squads. And it's working really well for us. What we have is we have a lot of students who are willing and able to ask questions. The students are able to fail in a safe environment and then immediately receive valid feedback from that instructor who has now experiential knowledge. So what we have is a combination of doctrinal education and experiential knowledge coming together within the IMC. The squad leader is the crux of that and the students are benefiting from the experience of the squad leader with the doctrinal requirements that we're able that we're required to teach here at the IMC itself. As we go forward in this course, uh, what we're going to continue to see is more of that complex collective. You're gonna see these Marines get pushed to their brink, but that's what we wanna do in training, is push them to the point of where they think they can't go any further, and then through our safety structure, through the understanding of how this course is designed, the instructors will be there to help move these students along further than they ever have before.